We're here we're for back, you guys. Baby. Another Remember review. That. How long has it been? It's been a while. I have one that I haven't uploaded, I think. I got too drunk that time. <laughs> that should happen. <laughs> we're terrible at this. Uh, we're back today, guys. Um, what we got on tap? We went to Total Wine a couple weeks ago, looking around. This guy fell in love with like three bottles. Oh, man. There was one that's shaped like a nipple that he was like, oh, bro, we can pretend we're so I would have ran off with that one, man. <laughs> I would have totally ran My wife would have been pissed. But anyway, <laughs> we're here with Mr. Walt, Mark Wahlberg's tequila. Ooh. He doesn't really, kind of like a silent partner. I don't think he wants it to be oh, one of not these good, bro. typical celebrity tequilas, you know? But this is Flecha Azul. Um, this was about, what, 50 bucks, 60 bucks? Yeah, we used our recycle can money. Yeah, so shout out to... So the earth... Brad, uh, TJ. Yeah, this is sponsored by, uh, by Recycling. By Siemens Pomona Recycling. <laughs> Today's <laughs> video responsible. For, for Don't drink at work, guys. Come on, who does that? Go. Um, this uh, is obviously made in Jalisco. The NAM is the distillery that is made out of is 1110. You guys don't know what that means just look up what is NOM? tequila what is NOM? that's that's the identification for what distillery made the tequila oh, okay. so obviously distilleries make sometimes a hundred different kinds of tequila yeah sometimes they're all small batch sometimes they're mass produced but this one is a uh, stone mill bro they put the agave they get a fucking donkey with the rock and they go around crushing the I got that? that. That's pretty. It's cooked in a stainless steel, <laughs> stainless steel uh, pots uh, in the aged in French oak barrels. They call that rustic. Rustic. It's an ultra premium tequila, forty percent by a volume, of course. Let you, uh, it says harvested by hand. This the when you look up the distillery, it's called Ondihan or something like that. But they make like very obscure tequilas. I've never heard of any of the brands that they make there except for this one, so. It's super small. It's not like, you know, it's coming from where they make fucking Don Julio or nothing like that, so. We've never heard of this. I didn't know there was them. I'm a tequila review channel. I didn't know this. We like to bring you some obscure yeah. stuff every night. So, you know? there's you 114 believe. distilleries. Did you know that? I did not know that. Or top, you with facts top today. 114. With and this facts. is the number 90. Some knowledge. That's a cool little bottle. Pretty Be traditional. Beautiful color, right? It does look as very a, nice. As a res reposado should be. Didn't you say the Añejo was like... Yeah, the extra Añejo is like $317. Damn. Maybe it tastes like... Uh, I like that nice little touch on top. Yeah, yeah look at that. I don't know if you can zoom in. Check it out. Use your phone to zoom in. Yeah. Mira, mira, mira. <laughs> I can't zoom in. Oh, sorry. There's a cool design on the top, but... Pretty dope. Let's see. Oh. Um, on the tequila matchmaker app, you guys should check it out. This was rated like an 8.5 out of 10. Seems pretty high. Solid. Um, they do have obviously Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, Extra Añejo. Um, Total extra Wine had all, had all of them? I think so. Yeah, I saw. I never really see this brand anywhere else, but I think they did have at least the Blanco and the Reposado. I was caught up in the nipple bottle, so yeah, I was, nipple bottle it was hard to light. focus on anything. Um, <laughs> Shout out my wife's big old kids. <laughs> see you later. It's not a very strong alcohol smell. That's good, right? It's like very subtle. Are we going to taste some hints of vanilla? I smell... Um, I do smell some taco meat that we're cooking. <laughs> Could be that. Imagine. It smells of taco meat. It smells like taco meat. All right, bro. Mike got a tequila. See, see what we think of Mark Wahlberg's tequila. That's like just agave. You don't taste no. It's almost very, like a mezcal. And it's very fruity in the back tone, too. There's something that hits you in the back. I thought it's it was like, more smokier. But it's sweet, too, at the end. Oh, yeah, the very end. You don't taste any, like, caramel or nothing added? Like, That's weird. That has a bunch of different flavors. But it's not. it doesn't taste artificial at all, huh? No. It's good. Clean. Smooth. It's like that, that agave taste. Very, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's like... Yeah, you can taste strong agave, but there's, like, hints of little, uh, like, I don't know, like, the first fruits <laughs> and smoke and... Yeah. 
it's not it's just very interesting they must have a crazy distillery process for yeah that. it's not just a punch of alcohol or a punch of artificial flavor it's like it changes in your it's palate really good. Yeah, yeah right i like that I wonder, how, I wonder how it would be chilled we were drinking some casa amigos chilled yesterday shout out to where we left the bottle that was me <laughs> I, i'm i'm the one who left the bottle yeah it's good Maybe we'll let our executive Is that like a sin to drink cold tequila? Like are all the tequila people snobs going to come out man. and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys are in a real channel. You don't drink it cold. Definitely. But also, too, the rock has a tequila. His shit's always frozen when he's trying it. That's true. So I don't know. But people say and I wouldn't tequila. tell that guy anything because he's huge. No. He'd probably pick me up and throw me. And then tell me I'm welcome. Then he'll fucking drop the people's elbow <laughs> on your ass, bro. That's Remember it. that. So... so Another thing, we're about two reviews away from blocking the shit we're drinking. Is it gonna kill you to send us a 12 Where's pack? Where's my 12 pack? Where's One my 12 pack, pack, fucking six pack, couple tall cans, something. Awesome. We've been advertising this for free for how long? Two. All 12 people got, went out. Yeah, we got like 30 Three views. of them went out and bought after <laughs> watching this. Guaranteed. <laughs> All right, cheers. It's not harsh at all. Smell it. That's a good sipping tequila. Like yeah. I hear people like, you don't take shots of tequila, you sip it. This I can see sipping like a whiskey, like a yeah, like finer. Uh, yeah, no, this is smooth. awesome, awesome tequila. How many faces? Shit, one. Yeah, that. Yeah. Like it's not harsh in the front, in the back. It just gets, it gets like sweeter and more mellow as you drink it or as you taste. it. I like that it change the flavors change after you drink it, and it's not like in a bad way or in a artificial way, right? It's no. like it's like the same agave flavor, but just like but then you feel some other things. Yeah, it's like oh, this is this party in agave, and it's like oh, this is my buddy the pineapple or whatever. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't, I can't get the fruit though. Like I don't know, but weird. you're right. There's fruit. There's like a fruitiness to it. It's the probably end. like guava or something. I know there's some tequilas that's really good when it's like that peppery. Yeah. Cause it's like a little bit like of a spice or of a hint of a spice, but this is really good. I don't know. I just like it a lot. Delicious. I would buy this again. Now mm -hmm. we gotta try their blanco. One memo phase. Go out and get it. Try it. Total wine. Sip it. You can sip on uh, this. You don't go, have to shoot it. Go on the website. There's also um, it gives you their website gives you restaurants in your area that might carry it. That'd be pretty cool. Be out at a restaurant and try. Oh, this I bet stuff. it's even better in a mixed drink. Oh yeah. Like adding those flavors. Yeah. So yeah, check it out. Oh yeah. Good job, Mark. 